Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler along with Dick Vitale. Welcome to the second round of the NIT. Let's see how this game unfolds between the Washington Huskies and the Buffalo Bulls. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I tell you what, when you're the underdog, you got to come out and play with such fire. you got to simply tell them upsets happen when a three-star player plays like a five-star player, plays with intensity, emotion, and passion. The Bulls are facing very tough opposition tonight, Dick. What's the key to them winning? The keys tonight are very simple. First of all, don't let turnovers decide the game. Protect the ball. Take care of the basketball. Second of all, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. Lastly, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Watch out, five second call approaching. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dick. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Try to go inside. Intercepted, gave it up. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. He unloads a three. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. Oh, the pick comes back to haunt the screener that time. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with the block shot. Doesn't go. Fires away. Goes. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. Number one is feeling good. He may be in the zone right now, Brad. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter thy lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. Buffalo are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Dumps it in. The center handles the pass. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Can't get the shot to drop. the steal the pressure got to the ball handler lost some ball pressure it was too much for him and he lost possession they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass tries for two can't get the shot to go. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. Takes the pass in the paint. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Def There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. He faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Oh, 
The shooting guard receives the pass. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. The point guard handles the feed. Off the rim and no good. The point guard receives the ball. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Look at that spacing. The shot from the baseline. Way off target. Working it around the perimeter. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Let's it fly. Buffalo have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Let's get back to the action. to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Dump it inside. Defense giving some room. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Trying to feed the low block. They get that rejected. Both teams looking to get things going here. Goes up for two. Oh, yes. That's 12 unanswered. On the inside. And up. And he missed. And a momentary look from three-point land. Number 21 fakes the shot. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. They scored 15 in a row. Good decision to take that shot. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Problem with that when you're front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. I'd celebrate, too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. That's 18 unanswered. They look to get it to the inside. They get it out into transition. For the bucket, they still don't score. the dribble gives it up top of the circle they work it around the perimeter tempo to game really important here you want to establish some good tempo there's a bad pass right to the defender or two he buries it Great block shot. Gave it up. Here they come now on a turnover. From three-point range. He's got to pass those off, Dick. He doesn't trust his teammates, Brad. Dick, he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. 
Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Looking to move it around the perimeter. On the dribble, Gibbs blocks it. Trying to feed inside. Looking for the foul. That comes off. Might have been some contact on the shot. Executes the baby hook. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, down here on the sideline, shock has set into the arena. The coaches, the teams, and the fans can't believe what's going on. All right, thanks, Aaron. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Moving it around the perimeter. Top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. They're working around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of bounds. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Gave it up. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He's open if he wants the shot. Puts up the tray. It's early here, but it's been a blowout so far, Dick. It's definitely heading in that direction, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. He up fakes. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Kicks it out. He goes for three. The Huskies have got to continue to get him the ball. Daddy's on fire. Where he shoots from the top of the circle, goes in. Oh, poor job, poor job offensively. I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> Pounded the ball with a duck. Where's he going? Great pro hop move to the basket, Brad. I like the way he asserted himself, drawing the foul. Number one steps to the line for the first time. That's a nylon NBN. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. That's a nylon NBN. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Both teams are looking to get something going here. Gave it up. He makes a nice shot fake. He launches a three. Way off target. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Defensively low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. I think really converts an offensive transition. For the bucket, doesn't go. For two, gets it to fall. There's the fake. Tries for two, in and out.
There's a double team waiting there. Step out on that screener. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Takes the shot. Off the rim and no good. Work it inside and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Up and inside. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He looks for the bomb. Nick, can they eventually get it going from behind the arc, you think? If they stop forcing him, sure. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. Oh, he's got to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Puts up the tray. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. From right in the circle, way off target. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Takes the pass in the paint. Number 20. He got fouled in the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time score. To the charity strike. Cashed it in. Robs him with the ball. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Got to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Up fake. Jump hook from the low post. And he missed. Long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy back inside though is so big that really it's tough to get in the ball. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them, they're celebrating. Hey Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. He makes the front end of the one and one. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. It goes in. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Going to move it around the perimeter. From left of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps.
Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitell, Flop City! I tell you one thing, absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestle. Working around the perimeter. He launches the bomb. He hits the shot. And he'll kick it back outside. They work the perimeter. it up way off target Dick how's he working him defensively I tell you he's trying to front right now you've got three concepts you can play halfway you can play behind or in front they've decided to play in front which means you got to get help some the skip pass is picked off and the ball goes out of play Here's a flash from the post up high. He tries the three ball. He gets it to go. There's the trap. And they get the turnover. For two. Got it. Look at this effort. They come with a double team to stop it. Turnover City now will always really negate any offense. Got the high pick. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Here's the block from behind. My man was on a mission. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so's the defense, and they do a nice job. Fakes a jumper. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Here's a spin down at a low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now a spin move for the goal. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. The Bulls are in the bonus. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. They'll work it around the arc. Tries for two, and in and out. Launches the three. Way off target. Shot clock is dead. Looking for a good shot. On the outside. Number 20 picks up the foul. Second personal foul. At the free throw line. Makes the first. Second one, no good.
Third one, no good. And they're catching nothing but iron at the free throw line, Dick. They're going to catch more than that from their coach if they don't start putting them down, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against the defense line. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. At the half, the Bulls are up by 24. This ride's been interesting, Richard. What's your highlight of the half? Well, the trifecta, like we see here, was and will be a part of the story of this game. We'll have to keep an eye on which team gets it going from out there in the second half. And now let's get ready for the start of the second half. Washington coughed up the ball way too many times in that first half. Day. They certainly did, Brad. I've said it a million times. Turnovers kill momentum. I don't see a lot of these kids taking my advice out there. Everyone likes to see the lower-ranked team beat the higher-ranked team, it seems. I like to call it David versus Goliath, rooting for the underdog. And a lot of times, Brad, the underdog surprises everyone and steals the W. Look at that spacing. Number one has got the fans roaring and applauding. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Puts it up, looking for contact. Up and in. Tries to get the D to bite. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Gave it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. I'll tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. In the paint. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He pushes it up the floor, always looking. Leans in, drops the bucket despite the harm. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He fires away. Off the rim and no good. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. He gets the rejection. And a momentary look from three-point land. Way off target. Picked off. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Perfectly executed. We get another look. Ball 
was loose, but the offense got it back. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. He shoots from left of the circle. Drains the shot. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Moving it around the perimeter. Looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. He hits the second shot. Third shot, good. The Huskies are trailing by 22. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're anticipating, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys are reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Gonna move it around the perimeter. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. He shoots from the baseline. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside. Unloads a three. Off the rim and no good. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Defensively down on low block and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense and making that steal. Wow, used the screen perfectly, but the shot didn't go. The defender's doing a great job of applying wall pressure. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Top of the circle they work. He makes the block. Got the shot if he wants it. Ten seconds to get a shot off. bring it up number 21 takes it away working it around the perimeter double team now bad angle rips down the rebound they need to get out and run their lanes now Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see more man. That's essential when you play on there and you front him. He takes the three. Shots off the mark. Pump fakes. Here's a double team. Steele gave it up. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. For two, perfectly executed.
Control in the ball. He shoots from left of the circle. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Tries for two. They still don't score. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. He intercepts it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Steals the pass. Oh, what a great job transition. Offense. Poor job defensively. Don't get back. Don't stop the ball. And they're allowed to convert. Get the number game going. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Number five comes up with it. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Number five is going to the line. He hits his first. Makes the second. He hits the third. The ball goes out of play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Dick and Brad, there was a question coming into tonight's matchup. Are the favorites worthy of their ranking? From their performance so far tonight, it looks as if the naysayers were right. All right, thanks, Aaron. Buried it. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. He bombs from outside. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. There was no doubt about that one. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in a foul. That's why some coaches don't like it when players go for the steal. They end up with fouls or in foul trouble. Picked out of the air. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moved so slowly. Gave it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. There they are on the low block on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. Dick, they're really going to have to monitor this because they've hit the bottom mentally. They're really going to be in some big, big trouble. Takes away the pass. Slam jab, bam! Up and away, the elevator man. They love it. Let's see 
who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. Trying to stay with him defensively, and he's going to pick up the foul. Oh, what a terrific job exploding the basket. Poor job defensively letting him get the ball that deep. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Jumps in. Great play to take that to the basket. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, following and knowing when the foul is an important part of the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. He hits his second. it up looks at the three the Huskies have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick they need to keep feeding the ball it's simple Dickie's working on that low block on that right hip I'll tell you one thing he's trying to drive the ball initially but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off fakes the shot Defense is right up on him, not giving any open looks. From left of the circle, off the rim and no good. Stolen away. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing. You better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. Buffalo have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. He pulls the trigger way off target. Jumped in front to take it away. They'll work it around the arc. Entry pass in the paint. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. He'll visit the charity strike. He sinks it. are pleased now given the fact that this game is really out of reach it's almost an expectation Brad. you're supposed to win your home game but winning by this amount my goodness kicks off the lazy pass
They work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. And in and out. He takes the shot. Off the rim and no good. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. That's probably why you're on a coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you've got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. For the bucket. Up and in. Looking for a good shot. Way out on top, had his shot block. Oh my goodness, that was unbelievable, baby! Now they work it around the perimeter. Tries for two, and he missed. Goes up for two, doesn't go. Trying to draw some contact. Perfectly executed. For the bucket, and off the mark. Jumps into the defender. He didn't have the good angle. They should have gotten through him about a second earlier. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from outside, way off target. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Trying to draw the foul. Number 24 makes the finger roll. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy got... They're going to give him the basket and the foul. That's huge and one for the senior, baby. Dick, look at this. He's not afraid to let anyone know how he feels. You've got that right, Brad. Number 20 going to the charity line for the first time tonight. Good. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. The ball goes out of bounds. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. That's going to be a five-second call. Credit that to the defense. 
The offense sets up from the sideline. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. On the outside. Now the turnaround jumper. He couldn't get it to fall. Gave it up. He launches a three. He makes the shot. You know, upsets like this don't grow on trees. We see it once in a while, but this one still got me a little bad. I don't want them to close it out. They couldn't make the big play. They didn't share the basketball. They really got away from what made them such an outstanding team, being unselfish and sharing the ball. Buffalo showed vast superiority tonight in this blowout. This is a shocking upset that the school will be celebrating for the next week. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.